I've been doing some research on ChatGPT recently, and I found out something quite interesting. I found out that ChatGPT's training data includes man pages, as well as internet phenomena. So technically, if it has studied the internet, then it surely must know a lot about memes, since memes are quite a big part in today's internet. So the question I asked myself was, can this powerful language model create memes that are good as the ones that are currently online? But today we're not only going to be generating memes, we're also going to be taking these memes and displaying them on a web page for everybody to see. So stick around to the end of the video to see how exactly I'm going to do that. So ChatGPT does have one limitation though, and it's the fact that it's not able to generate images. And memes, as we all know, is pretty heavily based on images. So how do we create a meme with ChatGPT? The answer is, we can't. And the way we actually do create one is that we use another AI tool Dali to create the images for us and combine that image with the idea from ChatGPT. So a rundown of the algorithm would be first we need to type generate funny meme idea into ChatGPT and then we split the output into two components which is the caption and the image and we feed that image idea into Dali, take the output from Dali and combine them together to form the meme. So we have the image and the caption from Dali, and we have the meme. But we're also gonna be creating a website to display these memes. So there's a couple of requirements that's needed for this website. And the first one is that it needs to generate at least one meme per visit, a brand new visit, a brand new meme for every visit. And actually that is the only requirement for it. But we do have some optional requirements as well. The first one, it generates 10 memes for each visit so that we're able to have sort of like a scroll feature so that we have a feed. And another one is that we're able to allow the user to select a few keywords so that the memes that's generated would be based on that. But how do we actually integrate ChatGPT and DALI into our website? The answer to that is we need to use their APIs. But what is an API? An API or application programming interface is sort of a set of rules that allow two softwares to communicate with each other. So for example, the weather app on your phone. Let's say you have an Apple phone. Apple doesn't really collect the weather data themselves because that's not what their company is about. But instead they use this API to fetch data from other companies that, that their main business is collecting weather information. And they take this data on, and display it on their own app. So that's essentially what an API would do. So in our case, an API API would be something that allows us to interact with ChatGPT or Dolly through code. But do bear in mind that I don't know <laughs> how to use either API because I've never used them before. Okay, so I did a little bit of reading and I found out that ChatGPT hasn't officially released their API yet. So that's gonna be a little bit of an issue, but Anyway, as you can see here, there I found this that basically does the same thing as ChatGPT. But I will have to research how to actually use it because I really wouldn't know. But I think it I think it works the same way. I have to read through this image generation document for Dolly to find out how to actually properly use that. Okay, so I think all I need to do is just create a script all right now i have finally fixed it and nope Okay, so the issue was I needed a actual browser. Okay, so there's apparently a lot of missing dependencies. So I'm just trying to install it, hopefully. 
Uh, yeah, so now I'm just trying to download Google still. Uh, it's so bad, man. What an L, bro. <laughs> we failed at step zero, guys. We failed at step zero. Jeez, what? What is this? Bro, I had no idea you could actually do it like this. I'll just skip these. So I managed to download the Google Chrome finally. Node script.js should finally be able to run. Uh, yeah, kind of. So it does like run in the background, which is quite interesting. Uh, fail to authenticate. I think I actually forgot my password, bro. <laughs> so now this should hopefully work. I'm pretty tired just by testing. Hey, let's go. Then we can see here a cat sitting at a computer with the caption. When you finally finish a project at work and your boss asks for one more thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. I think I've thought of a better way to do this. So essentially the chat GPT API. All right. It's not bad. Like it would work, but it, the request that I have is quite simple, really. So I could actually use one of his predecessor, which is, I think it's called text Da Vinci. I don't think many people know about it, but it's essentially the same thing as chat GPT, but it's a lot easier to implement. It doesn't need any browser sort of things that I had an issue with. So that's what I'm going to use instead. And yeah. All right. So now I've updated the whole thing. Actually, let me just show you it. So here, and now we can see that there's two pictures. Essentially, the prompt was a picture of a person sitting at a desk with their hands in their head, looking towards a computer screen with Netflix on it. And now I'll actually go into the web development side of it. And yeah. As you can see here, we basically, every time we run the script, we can see that it simplifies the results. So the first index is the caption and the second index is the image idea. But yeah, no, uh, it's, it's going well, pretty, uh, it's going pretty well so far. So all that's left now is we need to develop the functionality to feed that image idea into Dolly and then combine the caption with the image and then display it. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Yes, yes, it's perfect. <laughs> just more updates i am stuck basically i forgot like this is gonna be public so at first i was just gonna make all the api keys in the source code and whatnot but then i quickly realized that that's probably not a good idea so now i'm trying to make everything implemented in the back end essentially so i'm using express and pug uh yeah man it's not <laughs> it's not going great uh, but I have experience with Express, so it's pretty all right. But yeah, I wasn't really expecting to do anything like backend. I thought I would finish like a while ago, but yeah. Okay. And now, yeah. So that means like every time we refresh, it's going to generate a new meme. It takes a while though, because we're querying the actual chat GPT and then we're also querying Dolly. I could set the image a bit lower actually. That would probably make it so much quicker. <laughs> yeah, it kind of works. I don't know. Like 
it's not like the funniest memes, but it's also just funny in its own ways. So, okay, so now we're gonna implement, I would say, well, first we're just gonna make it look nice. So CSS and that. And then we're going to, I guess, add the, we'll just generate 10 per generation so that at least like, you know, you don't suffer for long. And then we'll add the keywords feature. So yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of done. Uh, so the first meme, a person trying to catch a slow moving snail. When someone says they don't like dogs. Yeah, I don't know. These are some... When someone says online school is easier than regular. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is... Ah, uh, this is... When you find out the test was multiple choice. <clears throat> I feel like there are some context that's like missing i feel like i don't know what's actually happening here <laughs> but yeah i'm i'm gonna try make it look nicer all right so i've just finished the the entire thing and just to kind of walk you through it so on generation it will generate around five memes i think after applying css it looks a lot better so you can check out the project it should be in the link in the description hopefully I couldn't implement the feature for the keyword thing, which I wish I could have. It's just I didn't really want to. <laughs> so yeah, in the future, I think I would implement that keyword feature and also maybe implement a system where people who are visiting can upvote certain memes so that it's actually like a working Reddit, I suppose. I don't know. All right, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then please subscribe. It really means a lot. And make sure to check out my other project right here.